It's the last day of school, the last day of my freshman year. Someone's doing construction, please uh, be quiet. Um, but yeah, it's my last day of school at Parsons. I just finished my freshman year, or I'm about to, in like four hours, um, be done with my freshman year of college at the new school. It's been a mess. Okay, so life update because I haven't uploaded in like two weeks because finals got me feeling some type of way. Let me backtrack a little bit. Parsons, class of 2022, you are coming into a hot mess at this institution. There was an electrical fire in the main Parsons building, so it's been closed for the entirety of the semester. Next, the student workers were on strike and are currently on strike and it's really encouraged not to cross the picket lines. A lot of teachers have been canceling classes and other teachers have been moving classes and today I actually have my last drawing class, worst class maybe of my entire life, but my teacher moved it to Midtown. Also, there's an occupation going on in the cafeteria right now because the school is trying to fire all of the cafeteria workers. So there are people that are just sleeping in the cafeteria. So they closed down the cafeteria like for food purposes, like you can't get food there anymore. Um, and also a professor was murdered. Um, someone was trying to burgle, burglar, burglarize, burgle. I don't know, someone was trying to rob his house and he ended up being murdered with a hammer as a psychology professor. Um, and all of this was happening while finals was going on. So, yeah, Parsons is a mess. I've really had it up to here, all the way up here, but it's the last day. Also, all of my roommates moved out already, so I just have one huge mess and a lot on my hands. Uh, my work is really cut out for me, but I'm moving home tomorrow, so I thought that I would vlog this experience. But yeah, I have to go now because I have to go to Midtown for my drawing class that I hate. See you soon. Here's our school. It's on strike. We don't have class here. It's a mess, but we're supporting. We're supporting the strike. I'm with Allie now. Hi, Allie. Hello. How do you feel about our last class ever with um, I'm so excited that I never have to see her and her A6 again. Um, I don't like, she's very passive aggressive, that's all I have to say. Yeah, we can't throw too much shade because uh, final grades aren't in yet, exactly. but yeah, but she's, awesome. um, she really made the semester very rough. <laughs> um, there are Tuesdays and Fridays where I wake up and wish that I didn't wake up. But yeah, uh, we're walking to Midtown. We made it to our class in Midtown. Oh, is this a vlog? Yes. She's a vlogger. She's a vlogger. We made it. We're having class in the biggest room ever. This class is seven people. There's seven people in our class, and this is the size of the room that we have. Seven. 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 But it was fun doing both of them because they're both so different. We had our last drawing class. I had my last class. You have another class? I have a class on Sunday for six hours. Why? Because um, my teacher is stupid. Also, this is Audrey. Hi. <laughs> and that's Sean. Uh, Sean has done my vlogs before. And I'm not allowed on them. We're done. I'm done with my freshman year of college. Oh my god. Sorry if you can hear my crusty air conditioner in the back. It's just really hot and I don't feel like changing my clothes because I'm gonna leave in like 10 minutes to get lunch, but oh my god such a huge weight has been lifted off of my shoulders now being done with school i literally procrastinated so much that the drawing final that i had due this morning i think i started at like 11 30 last night um but i ended up being fine like my teacher liked it but 
crazy. And I spent, I think, eight hours yesterday writing a research paper that was due today as well. So it's just been a lot. Um, but I'm done now. We technically don't have to be moved out until next week, like midweek next week. And so I was like, I want to be the first one moved out because I hate being the last one that's left like with the responsibility of making sure everything's perfect because I don't handle that much responsibility that well. Um, <laughs> and so I thought I was going to be good leaving on Saturday when no one really had to move out until midweek the week after that. But then all of my roommates moved out like way, way, way early. Um, so it's Friday now and Siobhan left on Wednesday and Mary and Ava left on Thursday. Like literally a full week before we had to be moved out. So I just really have my work cut out for me. I'll show you what I have to do and you guys might be stressed out too because I just don't know how I'm gonna make all of this perfect, but we'll see. Okay, so this is all of my stuff, which I was gonna have to clean up anyways because I just have to get all of this stuff home. Um, and yeah, my room was really clean like last week and finals just kind of got in the way and now it's really, really messy. I also have to just figure out like, hey Ella, how are you gonna get this home? Also like none of the stuff up here is mine, but they just like left it here. Um, there's hella food, well not hella food, but like a lot of food in here. None of it is mine. Hella food in here, and I just like, I hate the idea of wasting food because like so many people, oh, so many people out there are like starving and I have all of this food, but it's all been open, so I don't even know if I can donate it. I'm not living here for the summer. I'm living back in Boston, so I don't have like an apartment where I can bring everything. And like I've already asked my friends like if they want to take the food, like my friends that are staying here for the summer, and they're just like, no. So, I don't know what to do. Also, this is cute. Like, okay guys, thank you for leaving all of this stuff here. Um, I'm not salty at all. <laughs> um, there's like coffee stains on the wall. I don't know if you can see. Places where the tape, or like the paint has been ripped off. Literally in so many places. Um, I think we're gonna have to pay a pretty fat fee for that, but Whatever. I'm just like a, <laughs> a little stressed. For now, I'm waiting for my friend Olivia. You guys have seen her in the vlogs many times before. She's my friend from home that goes to NYU. And she is going to take me to lunch at Palladium, which is like an NYU dining hall dorm thing. I forgot my camera, so. I'm recording on my phone. Olivia just found out that Palladium is only open from four until 10 today. So, uh, I'm just gonna meet her in that area and we're gonna get burgers or something, which sounds so good, so I'm excited. Sorry guys, I did not vlog during lunch because I was just having a good time catching up with Olivia. I just went to her apartment that she just moved into. It's so exciting. Literally all of my friends are getting apartments because most of them are staying for the summer in New York and they're just like so nice like obviously living in New York is like one of the most expensive things ever um, but it's just crazy to see people like getting their own places like getting out of dorms at this point anything feels better than a dorm but Olivia's apartment is so cute, you guys. It makes me so excited. I'll be back in July to get an apartment for anyone wondering, because I know people have asked me, um, like, if I'm going to stay in dorms next year or get in an, apart an apartment. But yeah, I'm definitely getting out of dorms ASAP. Well, tomorrow. I just submitted my last paper. Time to pack. So today might be really fun and great because I finished my freshman year of college. But it's definitely not my day. I have been trying to clean up all of the trash, which 
let me just show you is a whole freaking lot this entire bag which i can show you is like the size of me what's good if i sit down i could literally fit two of me in that bag um but yeah i was trying to take out the, the recyclables and i got locked out of my room and normally that's not a big deal because I had three other roommates that I lived with that could let me in But you know, <laughs> they all left. I went downstairs and the nice RA gave me a code to get back into my room, but the code didn't work So that sucked And yeah, I then went back down And got someone to escort me back up here And I got back in. Also, sorry that I'm pacing. I just I'm like living off of this adrenaline of like being a little angry. The elevators, they continue to break. There's only two of them. And everyone is moving out today. I don't know why, because we don't have to move out until next week. But every time the elevator does come, which it takes a really long freaking time because one is always broken and they stop on every freaking floor because everyone's moving out. There's already someone in there with a giant bin full of their stuff So you can't even take it So just take the stairs But it's a lot of stairs Ugh I'm Physically and mentally and emotionally exhausted Sammy just told me I could sing <gasps> Hi vlog I look like a wreck Also we look like sisters. Hey sisters. We just took BuzzFeed quizzes on Instagram live so I could procrastinate from packing and now we're gonna get Froyo to continue to procrastinate. The viewers hated the quizzes, no. Yeah, literally no one was watching. I haven't vlogged in so long, it's literally 1 a.m. And the last time I vlogged was like 6 p.m. maybe. Still have to pack all my stuff so I'm just gonna do it now. It's a uh, 2.30 in the morning. I've made progress. Um, all of this stuff has to fit into my car. car. It doesn't actually look like that much at this angle, which is good. Um, but I also have to do like my bedding and all the stuff on my desk and all the kitchen stuff. But this is all getting thrown away. Everyone's gonna watch this and be like, she's so drunk. She's so high. Oh my God, Ellis Snyder does drunk drugs i have the hiccups but literally i'm just exhausted like ugh. i've been up for 20 hours now so yeah i can't stop hiccuping but i'm gonna get in bed eat some talkies watch dear white people and go to sleep see you tomorrow